the squad. So about to go out there into the wilderness. Got to take the boys to school. School is still going on. Um, I wasn't going to take them this week. I think today because I have a doctor's appointment. Tomorrow because I have to work. And Wednesday I have to work. And then the rest of the week I probably keep them at home depending on how the week goes. But um, I'm just like, gosh. So today they're doing a new procedure for dropping off the boys. Um, and I'm not sure how that's going to go. But they don't want us to get out the car. They're going to scan all the kids' head with the, you know, the temperature reader to determine if they are well enough to come into school. If they are coughing or showing any signs of a respiratory infection, they cannot come into school. And then they're going to get the kids, unbuckle them at their seatbelt, and get them in school. I don't know how that's going to go for Tonio because Tonio has just got into, you know, a routine of, okay, mommy walks me in, I sit down, I leave. This switch up in his routine may freak him out. I'm going to try to explain to him what's going to happen first. That way he can be prepared. But if he sees like, oh my God, why are these people at the car? Why are they unbuckling me? Mommy, where are you going? But he's going to freak out. So Lord Jesus. It's like, gosh, we have to do this because tomorrow I have to work. I got a doctor's appointment today. Um, and then I may just pick them up right after my doctor's appointment. And it's like, it's my well woman exam. I can't miss out on my well woman exam. Yeah, it's just been just ugly all week. But I feel like it's God's way of just washing the earth. It rained so hard last night and just really good. It's like, okay, God, just wash it all away. And it's going to rain all week, which is good. Just, just, just get it out of here. Get it all out of here. Antonio, Stefan, come here. Okay. Come here. Tonyo. I don't know. Where is Tonyo? Go get him. Tonyo, come here. Say <laughs> We're not taking a picture. You want to take a picture? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll take your picture. Come here. <laughs> come here. So I have to tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to school. Do you have to pee? Mm -hmm. Okay, go pee. Okay, so look. Tonio, stay fine. Hey, pay attention. <laughs> so when I drop you off at school, come here. Tonio, Stefan, come here. So when I drop you off at school, they're gonna come to the car to get you. Do you? Yeah, mommy can't walk you in school today, okay? Okay. Mommy can't walk you in school today. Okay. You're going to walk in. Walk in. With possibly Miss Samantha. Samantha? Yeah, you're going to walk in with Miss Samantha and your teachers. They're going to come get you from the car. The car? Yeah, they're going to check your temperature. Yeah. They're going to check your temperature. And they're going to ask you some questions. And then they're going to come get you from the car. Okay. Okay? So mommy's going to stay in the car while you walk in school. Okay. Okay? okay. I'm Pinky Dinky Doo. When we come back from school, you can watch Pinky Dinky Doo, okay? Okay. But we got to go to school. And are you going to be good at school today? Can we play with yeah. my toys? Yeah, when you get out of school, you can play with your toys. Mommy's gonna, mommy's not gonna walk you in school today, okay? Just, just, just go in with Miss Samantha, and I don't know who else, but just go in with them, okay? Don't be upset. Don't cry. Okay, mommy. Okay. Uh, alright, I already got your stuff in the car. Let's go. They probably understood nothing I said, but you know. Don't call it, mommy. Go ahead and put Spider-Man up. Go ahead and put Spider-Man up. You're finna get out the car. She's finna get you. How's it going? Hello, good morning. <laughs> we are just here. <laughs> we playing doctor today, right? You like 
take me as your doctor? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you. morning. All right. Yeah? All right. Oh, See? Traveling. You're going? No. No travel? No. Yes. See, you're going with Miss Samantha. No. No contact with anybody? No. Go ahead, baby. No. Go. It's okay. Go, go. This is Antonio? Yeah. Antonio. Antonio, go. Just oh. Tony, get out the car. Remember, we talked about it. Stop, stop, stop. Come on. You want me to get them out? Yes, but you can answer. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's fine. Come on, Tony. that was going to kind of mess with Tony O and mess him up because it would mess me up. It would mess me up because it's like, why do they got gloves on? Why are they taking me out the car? Like, I just, I knew it would mess me up. Like, it would freak me out too. So I, I knew he was going to be the one to freak out. Like, uh-uh, this looks scary. My baby needs his routine. And I feel so bad. I feel so bad. So update. They just announced that all of the restaurants, um, gyms, places where over 50 people can gather will close tonight at midnight in Dallas. So I went to the store and I bought them um, some new play stuff. Because it looks like we are all going to be confined to this house. So, um, oh yeah, and they're closing the theater. So I can't even get to the movies. So I bought them this. Um, some sidewalk chalk up there. There. Some refrigerator magnets with like all different types of little animals and stuff so that they can play with. And hopefully that will just keep them occupied in case the school tells us, you know, they can't go. I just got told I got to work. <laughs> I just got told I got to work every day. <coughs> I know. Did something just go in the air? Because <laughs> I feel like spikiness in my throat. Did you like do something? Yeah. Did you? Oh, did I feel something or did I do something? Did you do something? You felt something? <laughs> like something like just. Yeah, like something literally just got like pepper or something. Yeah, I just put soap in that thing, so I don't know. Okay, maybe that was it. But something did that. <laughs> it was like pepper spray or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we all right. You gonna wash it down with some Gatorade? That Gatorade is supposed to be for like illness purposes. For like needing to gain our strength back. And you already going into the Gatorade. Drink water, Gerard. Yeah, I don't know what that looks. Maybe we just get paranoid, but Ron said he felt it too. <coughs> yeah, that was a little weird. <coughs> Why? I don't think the grocery stores are closed yet. I think I think it's just the restaurants and um, bars, things like that. I'm going to eat our dinner. <laughs> I got a new toy for you. What you got? You want to see it? Mm -hmm. You got to finish eating your dinner. What is it? What is it? Huh? What is it? Just wait till you see. Sit down. Uh-uh. Sit down. Part of the deal was whoever finished their dinner gets to play with the toy first. All right, come on. He doesn't know what it is. 
Okay, want to see your new toy? Yes. Ta-da! So I gotta open it. Dump it over. Dump it. Can you dump it? Can you dump it? Hmm. Okay. Just remember to put it back. Build something. Build something. I build a robot. You gonna build a robot? Okay. All right, build a rolly blanks. Let's get it. Got my workout partner with me. <laughs> He's already drinking water. All right, great. After having his crack. Hey, now. Jeez, Louise. Yes, I'm gonna get back to my workout so that they can eat dinner. Antonio, you're not even working out. Oh my gosh. Really? Really. I don't know what has happened from him working out to having his pants down. Some little gym partner I got. It actually turned out pretty good. I think I'm going to be doing my, my Tybo during this time. So dinner tonight is lasagna. The Stouffer's lasagna is the boy's favorite. It's quick for me to just come home, pop it in the oven, boom, done. And, um... I went ahead and like wrote out a little menu for the week just so I can see like what we have, what we don't have, and what I need to possibly go to the store for. If I need to go to the store, I'm gonna avoid going to the store at all costs, but you know, it's just it's a mess. Um, so all gyms are closed, all restaurants in dining restaurants are closed inside, you have to do takeout or to go um food delivery places are still running right now in dallas and why does this boy keep being naked tony tony where are your clothes no that's not clothes anywho so, yeah, I'm about to take a shower. Because that really worked up a sweat. Billy Blanks really worked up a sweat for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and take me a shower. <sighs> Start working on the vlog. And um, relax. Enjoy this for self-care. Good morning, guys. <laughs> so, my workout partner right here. <laughs> Yeah, I found Billy Blanks on YouTube Come on. on, um, you know, his, like, Tybo stuff. <laughs> what, baby? Come on. Okay. My workout partner is telling me to come on, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> Meanwhile, Stefan is doing the magnets. He was working out. That's why his shirt is off. Ooh, I found this at Walmart as, like, something to keep them busy during this whole thing and so far it's working it's, they've been doing this for a good 30 minutes Antonio has decided to join me with the exercise 
So I'm gonna get back to my workout. Straight down. Come on. Count it. Count it. What are you doing? Count it. Count it. Touch. Walk it out. Good job. Okay, guys. Come on, Mark. Good job. Mark. Dig deep inside your soul. You're tired already. You ready? All right, punch. good workout um i think i'm gonna probably do that even once the gym open back up because that's been like the best workout i've had in a long time because it's hard for me to like fit in cardio the way i want to so right like, now i have all the time in the world <laughs> to do my cardio and that's I don't know y'all like I've been seeing a bright side of this whole little social distancing thing um mainly it just feels like the world is on pause right now like time has stopped like God has stopped time for you for you to catch up do what you need to do this is your moment to catch up like even me, I kind of felt like, okay, gosh, I'm running out of time. I always felt like I was running out of time to do everything. Like, with my studying, I'm still supposed to be taking my NCE, my counseling exam, y'all. I'm supposed to be taking that in April. <laughs> and honestly, it was so hard to get studying done. I felt like I just, it was hard. It was hard to get the studying in. And I was supposed to take it back in December. It just seemed like the months just kept going and kept going. And it's like, now I have all the time in the world to study. Working out, I feel like my workouts were getting shorter and shorter because I needed to go to the next thing. It's like, all right, I need to go home and edit or I need to go do something with the boy. It, it was just always something. And now... I have all the time in the world to work out. <laughs> um, with the bakery, I'm just, I'm thinking about what I want to do. Like, so I've been wanting to try new recipes and just haven't had time. Got some new cookies coming out. So, it's been good. I really feel like time or like the world is on pause for you. The world has been put on pause for you to go ahead and do that thing you've been needing to do. It's time for you to catch up. Because after this, like, I feel like once God pressed play and, you know, everybody is back up and moving and we back moving fast, 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 you're not going to have any excuses. Anything outside of this that you did not do was based solely on you and your will to do it you clearly just did not have the motivation or desire to do it because now you do have all the time there's nowhere for you to go you know if you're working from home it's made it a little bit easier because you've cut out that commute part um it's just a lot of different things that you can make of this I don't have any anxiety, any anxiety about getting the virus or getting sick. Y'all have to remember, I got pneumonia. Go back and look at the videos. I got pneumonia when I was pregnant with those knuckleheads. So, I'm like, girl, corona, check my track record. So, I'm not too scared about that. I'm just like, all right, God, I see you. Um, so what you need me to do in this time? What you need me to do in this moment? So finally just taking advantage of this, like, this time stop right now. So I encourage you to write that book, start that blog, start that YouTube. This is the perfect time. Start the YouTube. Do this is your time to experiment. Go and experiment. Um, just do it because you have all the time in the world. I just see a lot of great businesses coming out of this. I see 
talents coming forward, coming at it is not from me, but like from you guys, from the world. I'm like, okay, this is putting pressure on someone and pressure makes a diamond. So this is going to put pressure on somebody because either you don't have the funds because you're not working and so you're needing to, to get creative. This is going to really force you to come out of your comfort zone because you are no longer on autopilot and you're going to have to come forward with the gifts and the talents that God gave you to do what you need to do to show the world. We waiting. We waiting on you. I mean, so that's my bright side. It's been a bright side to this for me. More time with family. Me and Deron have just been snuggle buddied up on this couch for Netflix. I finally got him to watch Love is Blind. <laughs> and he was hooked. He was hooked. The boys, I mean, Deron, he has time to play with the boys and... It's just been good. It's been good quality time. Look, if quality time is your love language, I know you are loving this. <laughs> you probably feel so loved right now. But, um, so yeah, it's good quality time that's coming out of this restoring of relationships. So, it's been good. It's been good. Watching church. This is our new normal. Bishop is still on that stage preaching. He need to be wrapped up in some bubble wrap. Yeah, I haven't made these in years, but I just had like the sudden urge to make them. So I went and got these last week because I'm like, okay, I know they're going to get tired of eating the same thing every day, which is like cereal or. Um, oatmeal and their little pancakes and french toast so I'm like let me make something different Antonio is really sitting watching church he's been sitting there for a, a good solid 15 minutes now <laughs> huh? hmm? um, those are rolls Rolls. Yeah. I like rolls. I like rolls. You do? They make it cold. Mm-hmm. See the rolls. Don't touch it. Don't. All right, so my little self-care routine tonight. This is a mask I bought quite some time ago, and I've just, I haven't had time. You got to, like, let it sit on your face. It's a peel-off mask. You got to let it sit on your face for, like, 15 minutes, and I've just, like, never had time. So, guess what? I got time now. I've already cleaned my face with my African black soap. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. I'm trying to see if I want to steam first. I don't know. Should I steam first? I probably should steam first. Best results. Apply it to your face and leave on for 15 to 30 minutes. After cleansing with a deep cleanse, purifying cleanser, which I do have. Okay, so I'm going to steam my face first to open up my pores. And then I'm going to put this on. So let me pull out my little steamer. So this is my little steamer that I bought from Amazon. And um, I lost a little cup that goes to it. So I'm just going to fill it up with water up here at the top. I love this thing. Like, I really do love it. Let me see. Did I put enough water? Probably not. Boom. And it, like, locks in place. And it goes off on its own to let you know, like, all right, steaming is up. But it warms up. All you do is push this little button. And you know that it's time to put your little face over it. I may do a towel. So when the steam comes up, you'll know like it's good and ready to steam. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And this is like also really good, y'all. I did this one time when I was sick. I put my um, eucalyptus oil and peppermint oil in here to like kind of open up my nose. Ooh, when I tell you it was just 
sweat dripping everywhere and i know with this like coronavirus stuff a lot of people are saying like steam is good with like some orange and onions or something like that so i'm glad i got this just in case i do start to feel sick i definitely got the steamer <sighs> This really does make me feel like I'm in a spa. I love it. Okay, so that stop. All my pores are open. Go ahead and open this little thing. Oh, okay, good. So is it already on a gel? Oh, no, it's leaking. this before okay so this part is the mask uh. oh it smells so good sweet almond oil, the moisturizer before bed, and I think that's it. That's it for this vlog. So, catch y'all in the next quarantine day. Thanks for watching.